Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Doing me ECM WF for to do day slash six weeks look at for today's second video, focusing on the UK and Ireland. And I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video release day was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. If that wasn't, I've got we have forecast at 10 14 day coming up to you later on today as well. So please like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos of content. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Thank you so much to ecmwf.int for supplying the charts as well, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Okay, <laughs> let's start off with the week one mean sea level pressure. A dominant take us from the 11th to the 18th March next week. We'll see high pressure over Scandinavia and within the high latitudes, low pressure will be coming in from off the Atlantic. So it remains unsettled by the look of it. Uh, are very similar to what we've had for, for the past several months and weeks and whatnot, really. Uh, uh, 500 millibar heights with above average heights away to the north, below average heights are to the south. Again, winds are on their way in from an easterly direction. Uh, temperature anomaly next, little, 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 temperature anomaly next week is above average, a mild of an average week to come. For the UK and for Ireland, station wise next week is wet to the south and dry to the north. Week two will be the 18th to the 25th of March. Not much of a change. Low pressure, perhaps a bit further south, was in towards the bay. A Biscay, high pressure still blocking around Iceland and Greenland. And winds probably still coming in from that east or northeasterly direction. I don't know. 500 millibar height, something like this. So we get blocking to the north with a below average height, slow pressure from the south, and again, winds probably coming in from an easterly direction. Temperature anomalies for week two, a little bit above average, but cooling down. No, much of northern Europe is uh, going cold of an average again. And precipitation-wise, we are dry to the north, but also wet down to the south. Right, week three <laughs> will be the 25th of March to the 1st of April. Oh! Ooh, still with blocking around Greenland and Iceland. Wow, wow, wow. Low pressure across much west Europe. And again, winds likely to be coming in from that uh, northeasterly direction. Good gracious. 500 mm of our heights look like this with a chop of below and heights over Western Europe in combination with blocking around Greenland and Iceland. And again, probably bringing him a win from an east or a northeasterly direction. What's the temperature doing? Let's have a look. Oh, got a little bit cooler than average there. A bit cold than average, especially in the northern half of the country. Clearly a cool down is going on here through the second half of March. Goodness gracious. And precipitation-wise, it's wet down to our south, but it's dry up to the north. Uh, also, see that it is wet through some parts of southern eastern England, though. And if it's colder, could we still get a little bit of snow out of that? Could we, could we, could we, five, uh, week four, I should say, is the first to the 8th of April, and uh, blocking remains to the north, but maybe reducing a little bit, still plenty of low pressure across those western portions of Europe, however, 500 millibar heights looking, oh, still, oh, oh, uh, still with plenty of blocking to the north, and uh, low pressure down to the south, the uh, temperature anomaly, oh, good gracious, that's coming out, well, it's coming out close to average, but could be a bit cold and average up north, and uh, now where are we going with that, there we go, um, no, <laughs> precipitation-wise, it's wet and average down to south, and driving and average up to north, lots of blocking signals here, isn't there, week five will be the 8th to the 15th of April, let's have a look, Oh and, still it, oh, and still it goes on with high pressure to the north, low pressure into the south. And we could still be bringing the wind from that easterly direction. One of the 500 millibar heights doing. Let's have a look. Oh, still plenty of blocking away to the north. But the below average heights are to the south. Winds could be coming in. 
for that AC direction. How about temperature anomaly? Let's have a look at that. Lift up a little bit, so it's going a little bit above average there. Slightly milder. May feels to go further on into April. We'll certainly be ready for it by that point. And the precipitation, yes. It's driving an average to the north again with blocking and wet of an average down to the south. And finally, we've got week six, which, which, well, it's week six, which, 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 finally, we've got week six, which will be the 15th to the 22nd of April. Put your team thing, Gav. Here we go. Oh, high pressure model of Scandinavia then. Um, if low pressure on southwest, that might be starting to drag up a slightly uh, milder southeasterly type flow. So maybe a recovery in the temperature starting to happen uh, here for the middle of April. Higher pressure remains to the north, lower pressure southwest. What about the temperature anomaly? Let's have a look at that. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So slightly above average. And yes, lastly, station. Um, though no, it's dry up here. And wet down there. Okay, well, what do you make of that then, everyone? What do you think about that? I don't know. So, it looks like we've got lots of blocking to come. And we may be in for a colder second half to March. Possibly a recovery of temperature into April. It's all speculative. It's all food before. Any forecast done by some day comes with big health warnings and large pictures are attached. So, you know, we'll wait and see how it all works out. But that's how it's looking um, this week. We'll be doing it all over again next week. So on Tuesday, we'll have a wide European outlook. Um, with this model, and then uh, as we get to next Saturday, we'll do the UK and Ireland focus outlook. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. And show you everyone for doing that, and we'll be back with more very soon. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.